Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 26th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to check out escape sequences that you can use with your echo command to modify its behavior. Now, I've discussed echo in one of the previous tutorials, but in case you've forgotten how to use it, I'll demonstrate it again to you guys. I have my terminal here and if I type in echo, follow it with a space and within double quotes if I type a string like uh, I am the worst teacher on YouTube and if I press the enter key then on the next line you would see that my statements gets uh, displayed right now what if I want echo to display the statement but display it in a different way uh, what if I want all these characters to be printed in bold or uh, what if I want them to be printed in the reverse format that is I want the text to be white in color but the background to be black right or what if I want to print uh, some part of the sentence on one line and the other part of the sentence on another line now in order to do such things I would have to instruct echo and I would have to instruct echo using escape sequences because that is what echo understands now what is an escape sequence an escape sequence is basically a bunch of characters and it always begins with the backslash character and is followed by one or more characters so what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to create a shell script and I'm going to demonstrate all the escape sequences uh, to you guys. So I'll bring up my text editor here and before I type in any text I'll save this file in my home folder. I'll give it the name ss10.sh since this is the 10th script file in the series. On the first line I'll put a comment something like escape sequences and on the next line I'll use echo to print a statement for me. Hey, world, what's up? There you go. And let me first uh, execute this shell script using the terminal and show you guys what the output is. There you go. My statement is being displayed. Now, the first escape sequence that we're going to check out is the slash n escape sequence. Now what if I want this part of my sentence to be on one line and this part of my sentence to be on another line. It's very simple. All I have to do is put a slash n escape sequence here. So I've put a backslash character and I've followed it up with the alphabet n. n here stands for new line. So if I would save my file and if I would uh, execute the script, you would see that part of my statement is being displayed on one line and the next part is being displayed on a new line so that's what slash n does n stands for new line and it's really easy to remember the next escape sequence that we're going to check out is the slash r escape sequence and it's also called carrier's return right and uh, before i talk about it i'll demonstrate the output so there you go what's happened is we don't see the first part of the sentence that's uh, hey world the uh, comma character and the space we just see what's up so what has happened is echo started printing the statement and it printed uh, this part everything before encountering the slash r sequence and when it encountered the slash r sequence it thought that okay maybe uh, everything that I printed before is rubbish and I don't have to so what I'll do is I'll start printing again and from the very beginning of the line it started printing this output uh, what's up not the output but this part of the sentence right so uh, a user would see this as uh, you know the first part of the sentence has been ignored but that's not the case what has happened is this part has been printed once and when the slash or escape sequence was encountered the cursor was brought back to the very first column on the line on which uh, uh, this statement had to be printed and uh, this part of the sentence overlapped this part right so I hope I made some sense there I didn't properly explain it though but I hope you guys caught it the next one that we're gonna check out is the slash t escape sequence and slash t or horizontal tab is nothing but uh, it's it's basically a substitution for five space characters so if you wanna type in the space part five times uh, you don't have to do that you can avoid that you just have to use your slash t escape sequence right so let me execute the script to you guys there you go you see that the space between the comma here and the w of whatsapp is uh, is 
six character as well and it's because of the slash t and if I would put another slash t over here then you would see that the space would increase wait a second what's happening here clear the terminal first there you go the space is increased so that's what slash t does the next one that we're gonna check out is the slash b escape sequence now slash b is a uh, backspace and it basically omits the character that appears immediately before it so if I would put slash b here then the space would be eaten up if I would put another slash b then the comma before the space would be eaten up now what if I want to eat up the entire word world it has uh, what five characters so I would have to put uh, five more backspace sorry slash b escape sequences so one two three four five and I'll save my file and I'll clear the terminal and I'll execute the script and there you go you see that world and the comma and the space after it has been omitted and I just have hey what's up here right so that's slash b for you and uh, the last set of escape sequences that we're going to check out in this tutorial are used for changing the manner in which the text appears that is if you want to print your statement in bold what you would have to do is you would have to put a backspace before your statement begins backslash sorry and then you would have to type in the code 033 now this is something that you would have to remember it's a it's a rule it's a format that you have to keep in your mind right so I'll have to put 033 here and then I'll have to put the left opening bracket which is this symbol right here right it's not the left open brace but it's the left open bracket right and uh, after that I'll have to type in the code for the bold escape sequence which is 1m now I know that this can be slightly difficult to remember but with practice it will stick in your mind and uh, you won't have to refer to a guide or the man page of echo or anything for it it'll just stick in your mind trust me so there you go my sentence is now ready and if I execute the script for you guys and you would see that my statement is being displayed in bold but not just my statement but even the dollar prompt the uh, thing that happens to follow the statement is also being printed in bold now this is not something that I desired right I want my dollar prompt to be printed in the normal way so what I'll have to do is at the end of my statement I'll have to instruct echo to get back to the normal mode of operation and in order to do that I'll have to type in the backspace character sorry backslash character and then 033 the code again the left opening bracket again and I'll have to type in 0m instead of 1m in order to instruct echo to get back to normal mode I'll save my script file and I'll clear the screen and I'll execute the script and there you go you see now that just my statement is being displayed in bold and my dollar prompt is being displayed normally so that's how to get back to the normal mode the last escape sequence that we're going to check out in this tutorial is to print this uh, string in uh, the reverse format and if I change 1m here to 7m and save my file and execute it then you would see that the background of my sentence is black and my uh, sentence text is white in color and that's because uh, I've used the reverse video format right so everywhere else on the page you can see that the background is white and the text is black but just for my sentence echo has changed the settings it has changed the background to black and it has changed the text color to white now there are a lot of other escape sequences that you can use with echo to uh, uh, rev up your uh, text output but then these are the most uh, commonly used escape sequences and you would find using them a lot and uh, in the future maybe uh, in this course we'll check out more escape sequences and as and when we would use them I'll discuss them with you but for the time being I just want you guys to practice these escape sequences and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to check out the tput command and we we'll learn how to do similar things using tput and tput is very versatile and, ver and is very important so don't miss that tutorial and thank you so much for watching this one and uh, please subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next tutorial